How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews. Back with yet another review. And we got a little IPA action. A little hazy IPA action in the form of Old Forge Brewing's Hype Juice. Um, yeah, Old Forge Brewing Company. Uh, they're not too far away from me. Uh, oddly enough, I live, like, right next to Old Forge, but this place is, like, an hour and a half away from me, which isn't Old Forge. It's not, like, two towns of the same name, which is really weird. Uh, people have been like, where do you live? By Old Forge? Oh, how's the brewery? I'm like, mm, this is, I've been there, like, twice. Um, but, yeah, I uh, haven't been there in a while. Um, it's been about a year, give or take. Yeah, actually, a little less than that, but regardless. Um, I've been there a couple times, kind of like your old-school kind of McBrew pub kind of thing going on. They, you know, they make their own beer, but they're all about food, and they kind of make beer, and some of the stuff is nice, and kind of that old-school style kind of brew pub. Um, but they've slowly been kind of making different beers, and they, they've always kind of bottled and canned stuff here and there. And this is one of their newer ones. Um, you know, a local guy by me, Joel, he, um, he said, hey, man, I picked these up. I was driving through town, and he's like, nothing crazy. He's like, I don't think they're nothing crazy, but he's like, nothing crazy, but he's like, do you want one? I was like, absolutely. And then I realized what the name was. And <sighs> mini diatribe here. I get the whole you know, hype thing, the hazy IPA thing. I review enough of my understand it. That's what most people send me, hence the reason why I do a lot of them. But this almost comes off like, like, because if you read the can, it comes off very, like, kind of, like, angry at the whole hop, hazy New England IPA thing. Let's read it real quick, and you can judge. It says, hype juice, drink fresh, drink now. If you if you wait until tomorrow, it's too late, you know? And then over here, it's a like, hype juice, one pint, 7% alcohol by volume. It says, Hype Juice is a New England style IPA. We jumped right on that hype train and crafting this hazy, juicy, hoppy IPA. Embrace the haze, don't fear the hype. Um, it kind of seems almost like a like a tongue-in-cheek kind of like, fuck this hypey, hazy bullshit. And I get it. I'm a cynical douchebag. I love hating on shit, so I get it. But, you know... It's kind of like one of those things where it's like, if you make it really good, then you're not in a hype train, you're just making good beer. It's kind of like pumpkin beers. Um, there's some people out there that make really good beers. It just happen to be pumpkin beers. Whereas everybody else makes a bunch of pumpkin beers because it's the popular thing to make this time of year. Right now being October in my area. It's kind of the same thing. Everybody makes hazy IPAs because it's the popular thing to do. But then some people actually make good ones. Hopefully this is a good one. Um, as far as what else it says in here, it says, We strive to honor personal craftsmanship. Our handcrafted beers made in small batches ensure quality and peak freshness. Brewed and canned by Old Forge Brewing Company, Danville, PA. Uh, independent craft brewer symbol over here. Um, I've seen it in a couple cans. Um, I, don't, I haven't seen it in a bottle yet, I don't think. I've seen it in a couple cans. I have a theory about this. Because it's been a while since this came out. And not that I've seen a ton of them, but we'll get to that. That'll be like a maybe... I'll kind of wrap that into one of my editorials, regardless. So, anyway, let's just grab a glass. See what she's got. Do, 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 do. Well, first things first. Because this is a review of the beer. Okay. Hype juice. Why is it called hype juice? As they say on the side, it says it is a New England style IPA. This is like an old school New England style IPA. There's a lot of argument when it comes to this kind of stuff with people. They kind of like, um, a lot of people pooped on me when I kind of reference beers like uh, Sip of Sunshine or like even to the point with like Hetty. Um, it'd be like, oh, that's not really New England style IPA because it has to have this, this, and this, and this. And listen, those beers are New England style IPAs that are before the traditional, what we know of as today, the super huge, turbid, hazy IPAs. So those are. This can still be that, but I mean, if you're going to put on their hype juice and New England style IPA, people are looking for something a little bit different than that visually. Um, what you have here is the softest haze possible. You can see through it uh, pretty relatively easily. A little bit of kind of like subtle haze to it. Uh, soft yellow in color. You know, got a pinky finger full of head. So, this should look like an old school New England style IPA. Yes. This should look like new school stuff. No. So, yeah. Is it the hype juice? We're going to find out. Let's get a nose on her. 
there's a greenness to there. Now that is usually my favorite kind of nose, but this isn't like a like a tomato stocky kind of green. It's like straight up like wet grass. Yeah, like almost like a like a husky wet grass. Like almost like they have like a little bit of that kind of green thing going on, but then they have a ton of like husks from like the malt kind of floating around in there. The hops come off. I think it's part of that too, and they come off super tea baggy, super herbally. And really not much sweetness there. So it definitely come doesn't come off as New England style IPA in a more traditional sense or in a new school sense. It comes off as like someone who's really good at making the SBs. Um kind of use the same ingredients but tweak shit to make like a like a New England style IPA, let's put it that way. But, you know, that's pretty much it. A little bit of kind of that kind of herbally, spicy kind of hop. A little bit of kind of like wet grass kind of going on. Yeah, so date-wise, I don't know if there's dates on here. It's new. It was just dropped off the other day. So anyway, I'm just going to dive in, see what she's got. Cheers. That's not bad. It's not a bad beer. Um... Sweet, more sweet than you expect based off of nose, but definitely not sweet, sweet. This hop still come off very old school, very like whole hoppy, kind of like hop oily, as opposed to like, like you know what I mean, pellet hoppy or or like um or like powdery, like lupin and platter or something like that. It comes off very like old school hoppy, like whole hoppy, oily, um, old school hoppy. Not much there as far as like your fruit juiciness that is your New England style IPA stuff. Kind of old school hoppy. A little bit, maybe, if you're reaching for some citrus, maybe. But definitely coming off kind of middle of the road, not sweet, not super bitter, but not, you know, fleshy, kind of pithy in the middle. Mouth feels okay, nothing too crazy. That's it, you know. It's definitely... If I drink this, what, what, what do I call it? I mean, if you had to classify it, it would be kind of a New England-influenced East Coast IPA. It's kind of where I'd throw it. Am I making shit up? I don't know. But it, it has... It's outside of your East Coast IPA. It definitely has a little bit more kind of body to it, a little bit more traditional and filteredness to it. Um, but the hops has come off really old school. Really old school sea hops in a very spicy manner. It doesn't even get anywhere close to like a, what we know as today as a, as a New England style IPA. Barely, barely, barely kind of sniffs the realm of the old school kind of New England style IPA before all these kind of super turbid haze bombs kind of dropped. It's not a bad beer um, by any means, and you know uh, it just skews very kind of old school. Which I mean, for me, and again, this is what I think. Um, it's a, you know, old school IPAs are definitely not my favorite kind of beer. So, uh, it just kind of leans in that realm. It's a bit too old school for me to go a bit gaga over. And, uh, you know, it's kind of there, floating around in the ether. Or Old Forger, really, Danville. But, yeah, it's, it's a weird one because it goes out of its way. The can just kind of like, you know, has written on here, hype, hazy, IPA, juicy, you know, all these words that really it's not. It's not hype. No one's going to hype this up, other than the brewery. It's not hazy. It's not juicy. Is it an IPA? Sure. So it's weird because there's so many kind of things kind of peppered throughout the can to tell you what the beer is, but it's just not what the beer is. So yeah, there you go. Uh, let's talk about it. One of the better IPAs I've had is late now. Um, this doesn't get anywhere close to what I typically like in a lot of the IPAs. Admittedly, I like the newer school stuff. When this goes kind of like old school, trying to be a little bit new school, but it talks itself up as trying as it is this new school hype train thing. Just not, it's not even close to that. Uh, value and availability, no idea, it was given to me. And just say if you like what we like this. If you like old school East Coast, East Coast IPAs and you want to dash a new school, I'm talking like you get an old school East Coast IPA and the 16 ounces and put like two ounces of new school in there and that's kind of what you got in there maybe one um you know it has a, a very subtly creamy mouthfeel to it which is nice hops come off super old and that's pretty much it so if you like those kind of beers 
but it's definitely worth picking up. Or if you're local, it's worth picking up because it's worth giving a whirl. That's why I'm doing it right now because it's semi-local, even though the name's always kind of weirded me out. Old Forge, I live right next to the place. Anyway, there you go. Another review in the books. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. Uh, if you did, didn't, anywhere in between, down there, words and things and stuff. Um, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and tapped Massive Beers, all four of those places if you want to check this dude out anywhere else. And there you go. So hopefully you guys enjoyed Jordan a locally made IPA right now, and hope to see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>